Good supplements. Are they really necessary? Hi friends, this is Bud Torito and I want to thank you for joining us at the Healthy Corner. In today's world, everyone needs food supplements. Let's look at some of the facts. Number one, in 1936, a statement recorded in the U.S. Senate Document 264, 1936.4, the alarming fact is that foods such as fruits, vegetables, and grains now being raised on millions of acres of land that no longer contain enough of certain needed nutrients are starving us no matter how much we eat of them. Number two, 26 years ago, the Journal of Neurology and Neurosurgery made this statement. Health problems such as back pain, fatigue, joint inflammation, and other disorders are either caused or increased by nutrient deficiency. Number three, in the late 1980s, the Surgeon General wrote in his annual report that 90% of the Americans are nutrient deficient in their diet. And number four, one more startling fact. In 1951, the Research Department of Vitamin Minerals issued a report compiled from 350 resources indicating mineral deficiencies. The report stated that at that time, almost one half of the U.S. had iodine deficient soil and many other states had deficiencies in essential minerals such as zinc, calcium, phosphorus, sulfur, iron, copper, manganese, and cobalt. I think you are getting the picture. Books have been written by well-known nutritionists of the last century, Royal Lee DDS, Weston Price DDS, and Melvin Page DDS, all strongly indicating the devitalized foods of their time, the 1930s and 40s. And it has been noted that the nutrient levels in the food sources today may be 40 to 70 percent less than in the 1930s and 40s. Have you ever asked the question, what should the nutrient value of our food sources be? Many of the nutrients in our food sources, such as vitamins, may not be present in the soil, but due to a process called photosynthesis, become available in the food that is grown. However, not the minerals. Without a doubt, nutrition runs the body. If all the needed nutrients aren't available to the glands, organs, and tissues of the body, then the necessary chemicals, hormones, and enzymes cannot be adequately produced. In time, these deficiencies will create an unbalanced chemistry and you will develop some type of symptom or health condition. Or, you can fill in the blanks. You are thinking, what can I do? First, you have to change your diet. And then you want to start thinking about the right food supplements. Remember, drugs can't correct this, physical manipulation can't correct this, and surgery can't correct this. The only way to correct the deficiency is to supply the body with those missing raw materials. Simply put, it is a combination of the proper diet and a food supplement program designed for your body. Just a note on food supplements, it is called label claims. It is unfortunate, but this is still an issue. Not all products meet label claims. And there are products that have added ingredients, not mentioned on the label, called contaminants. That is just one of the reasons Capture Your Health recommends a professional line of products Biotics Research Corporation. Biotics meets label claims, are bioavailable to the human body, free of contaminants, and produce results. Just a little history on biotics. One of the few supplement manufacturers to have a pharmaceutical license, it is noted by the NDC or National Drug Code number on every product. Also, they are innovators, not imitators, and have been first to introduce many unique products, such as emulsified forms of fat-soluble vitamins A, D, and E. Another example of first is a tableting base made of vegetable culture. No fillers, just living tablet. These are just a few of the innovative firsts. Just click on the page to see the many firsts Biotics has done. Biotics is the best of science and nature. Before we conclude, I just want to mention one of the questions 
I am most often asked, what is a good basic food supplement needed each and every day? Unfortunately, most Americans need gastrointestinal support before any supplement program. I suggest you fill out the health assessment form and note the areas of your body where you might be having specific challenges and then proceed to a personalized food supplement program. I hope you have a better understanding of why you can't have optimal health and wellness without the support of food supplements. The food sources today just lack all the nutrients your body needs on a daily basis. This is Bud Torito for The Healthy Corner. Thank you for joining us. Have a terrific day.